So I'm going to talk about static analysis of the bus models. So it is well known that the bus models are buggy, and the content three to seven times more packed than usual code. And the reason we pay attention to this curve is because that drivers are critical components, and when a driver crashes, the whole system crashes with it. So there has been a lot of successful research about device finding device drivers bugs. Tools are getting more and more efficient. But automatic verification of a of a program is a indecidable problem, so we can't sit there and expect this tool to solve all the problems of drivers. So in this talk, I claim that we should that we can increase the power of modern checkers by having a better device driver architecture, which simplifies the automatic verification of, of drivers. So in general driver's architecture, a driver is a collection of entry points which get invoked by the operating system in a specific order. And each of these entry points corresponds to a, an operating system request. So this is a typical example of use after free bug. The programmer did not expect the move to be called after suspend. So if you want to automatically verify this code and find this bug, we need to provide to the model checker a model of the operating system behavior. So this model would randomly try all the possible driver implementation and the model checker will do some pointer analysis and in this case it will eventually find that there is an invalid pointer access when we will get impact after suspend. But the thing is in this example it's very simple, but if we had a slightly more complex example with some non-trivial pointer manipulation, it would be very hard for the model checker. So we need So the problem here is that the, the, we are actually looking for the wrong part. We, we, we look for the... Uh, so the, the real bug here is that the programmer did not expect remote to be cut after suspend. And we are looking for the pointer bug, whereas it should be, should be simpler than that. So what we claim is that the source code should explicitly show the driver intention in such a way that we could detect this bug in automatically and without having to do any pointer analysis. So here is our solution to this problem. So we propose a new driver architecture where each driver has its own thread of execution and communicates with the operating system using message passing. So the driver only has one entry point and sometimes receive messages to the operating system using any await. Await is a blocking operation um, which almost return one of the messages that it takes as argument. And the runtime framework serializes all the operating system requests in such a way that the driver doesn't have to deal with concurrency anymore. So there are a few advantages. The first one is that the control flow is explicit, which means that there is one entry point and the source code explicitly shows whether the driver is prepared to handle a request or not. No more concurrency. And this architecture allows us to 
from when you specify the interaction between the driver and the operating system. We specify these interactions using a protocol state machine and we can automatically verify that the driver complies with the state machine. So here is an example of specification. So it specified the interaction between the driver and the Linux PCI interface. So conceptually, the, state ma the protocol set machine runs in parallel with the driver. Whenever the driver sends or receives a message, it triggers a straight transition on the state machine. So each state transition is a message, and when the state transition starts with the, if the transition name starts with the question mark, it means that the driver is receiving a message from the operating system, and when the transition name starts with an exclamation mark, the driver is sending a message to the operating system. So here's an example of active driver. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that we call them active drivers because they have their own thread and as opposed to conventional driver which are only a prediction of entry So here's an example of active driver. So it starts at the prop state, which is there. So the driver, the protocol state machine says that the driver must be prepared to handle the move and suspend. And the driver on the source code, we can see that the driver waits for suspend and remove. If the driver receives a suspend message, the, the protocol set machine says that it must send, the driver must send a suspend complete message. That's what it does with limit here. And then the protocol set machine says that the driver should wait for resume and remove. And the source code only wait for resume, so there is a bug here, and this would lead to a deadlock. The direct implementation should be like this. But the point is that here, this bug is exactly the same that we've seen previously with conventional driver, which means that the programmer did not expect remove the, the, the remove request after suspend. After system request. Um, but as I've shown, uh, this is very simple to detect using automatic uh, verification and it does not require any data analysis. So this, this is now I'm going to explain how we, we verify that the driver complies with the protocol. So we define it very simple rules. The first one is the network in it before. So for example, here in the probing state, the driver is only allowed to emit a prop complete message. If it, if the driver can emit and it doesn't trigger a valid transition, state transition on the state machine, it's invalid. So the second one is the wait. So at, for example, at the suspended state here, the driver must wait for both, suspend, uh, both resume and remove. So that's the example we've seen previously. And the third rule is time state. So the time state is a state where the driver cannot remain forever because um, the operating system is waiting, for example, for the completion of a request. So, in this driver, it's not valid for the driver to remain in probing state forever. So, how did we verify compliance? So, we used a 